and what we did was they asked me why I wanted to start a fashion blog and it was like kind of hard for me to answer those questions but I never went back like Chris was saying I never went back to you know day one I just would always say I'm really passionate about like sharing my style so I'm just going to tell you what we came up with and how it started so whenever I was younger my mom would dress me in really big bows and a dress and I would have my hair curled at the age of three just going in the backyard to play with the Santa Fox. And so for me that started it all. And then in preschool I went to a private school and we had to wear um, uniforms, khaki shorts or a khaki skirt with a collared shirt. And I can remember wearing like patterned bean socks with a big bow on my hair just to try and spice it up. And the uniform really restricted my personal style and personal identity. So um, that kind of made me insecure with, like I had to conform to that instead of being able to wear what I wanted to. And to add on to that, then I grew taller. And in fourth grade, I was taller than everybody, including the boys. And that made me really insecure. And I can remember, like I, my mom has pictures of me standing like next to all of my friends and I would like be hunching over because I was so insecure. And then one year for Christmas, I got a sketch and it had like a little mannequin on it and I was able to draw out outfits and stuff. And through that, that helped me put my personal style on paper, but I still wasn't confident in myself to actually go out on the weekends when I wasn't wearing a uniform to wear that. I would still conform to what my friends were wearing or what the current style was. And so then, in eighth grade, I went to public school, and that helped a lot for me, like being able to wear, you know, normal clothes like I am right now. But even then, because of my height, I was still so insecure with that that I wasn't confident enough to wear what I wanted to. I would still conform to what my friends were wearing or what the current trend was. And so then in high school that kind of continued like freshman, sophomore year, and junior, senior year, more towards the end of junior year, beginning of senior year, um, I started following all these fashion bloggers that kind of had like similar style that I wanted to portray. And that helped a lot because I was like, well if they can, you know, take pictures of themselves and put it on the internet where thousands and thousands and thousands of people are watching them, then I can dress myself and go to school in a, you know, a thousand person school and wear, you know, whatever I want. Um, so then something clicked and I became confident junior, senior year. And senior year, I even won the senior superlative best dress. So that really helped my confidence. And I was like, oh, well, you know, if I want that, then we're doing something right. And also something clicked um, with, like, my confidence in being tall. Like, I'm standing at the top here today, 5'10", wearing like three inch wedges. And I would never in a million years do that, freshman or sophomore year, just because that would make me even taller than everybody else. So with this, I plan to use my style and beauty tips through a YouTube channel and Instagram and Facebook and all the social media to help girls become confident and create their own style and stand tall um, in all of their clothes and their beauty. And so the name that we came up with last night was Standing Tall with Kinsey. That's what I go by. And I just need your feedback on if that would be a good idea. <laughs> I don't really know the business side or the questions.